she feels, what I should think. Those dark almond eyes that in quick darting glances look at me and look away so quick that if confronted she could readily deny, say, it was only my imagination. How to describe her? The way she walks in passing, the sweet sway of her hips, her eyes cast down, head slightly turned, so that I cannot say whether she might be acknowledging me or just ignoring me, or worse yet, unaware of my own presence. Though I myself must also play this game, my eyes deliberately ignoring her, though all my other senses scream my awareness of her passing by. How to describe her? Beautiful, desirable, seductive. I need no flowery words, no metaphors, no similes. How to describe myself? <laughs> Obsessed, unmanned, insane, only half hearing conversations, only half seen all around me, little interested in the events of the day, unable now to concentrate on those family matters which brought me down here. Maddened by the slow procession of the hours, minutes, seconds separating this long day from the night and the darkness that might enable me to seek her out, to hold her in sweet embrace until the all too soon advent of morning. Is it by chance now, or for my ear? Does she know that I am passing by? Does she indeed speak over loud, intending to be overheard? I hear her say to another that tonight, after her chores, She'll stroll the river path, take in the evening air, before retiring to her chambers. And that's what brings me here, waiting in the shadows at the far end of the path. Ah, the evening air, so redolent, so heavy with the scent of magnolias. One moment only I close my eyes, only a moment, the breeze caressing my face. I open my eyes, and is she there, far off at the edge of my vision? Far up the way I came along the river bank, a silhouette. It must be her. She is there. Does she draw closer? I can barely see her. Do I just imagine she is there? So far away. But perhaps a little closer now. And now my heart is pounding. I feel short of breath as if I have been running. She draws closer still. Now I do see her, watching her as she turns a little side to side, slowly strolling like a slow-moving stream meandering within its banks, feet placed alternately to one side then the other of the riverbank path, childlike, in no hurry, but moving forward. She swings her right arm desultorily around as she sways, brushing with her hand but not grasping the tall grasses and wildflowers that edge the riverbank path. I am captivated. From seeing her in the dining hall coming and going, I know the slender silhouette of her form, the small high breasts under her modest servant's dress, the long arch of her back, the roundness of her hips, the slender lower legs and the graceful length of her neck to a gently upward pointing chin, an Irish tilted nose, dark eyebrows, offsetting yet darker almond eyes, I know the honey-brown complexion of her skin. Of things visible, I only do not know the color of her eyes, those almost always downcast eyes. Not yet. I know her voice, though only overheard, and it was the sweetest music. I know her name, Jenny. Does she know mine? Does she think of me at all? She draws closer now, though still distant, and now she stops looking out at the river, or looking at me. I cannot tell. I hold my breath. It seems my heart has stopped as well. What if she comes no further? What to do if she should turn to go? Still too far, too far away. No action to be taken. I'd startle her or worse. Still I hold my breath, afraid I'll somehow make a sound. Eternity. Finally, one leg and foot swing forward, and she slowly begins that meandering walk again, moving ever closer. Oh, so slowly, silently, I exhale, and equally in silence I draw in breath and slowly fill my lungs. My pounding heart again has slowed, and I feel a certain calm. I have gone past the heart-pounding excitement and dry-mouthed terror of first seeing her. Still, 
I do not know what I will say, what I will do when she comes near, when she first sees me. But please only let her still come to me. I feel a new awareness, a new self-assurance. I desire her. I must have her. But at that time, he still did not know, not yet, how much in the days to come he would come to love her. Thank you.